Assalamualaikum. This is a lecture for MRT 529, lecture 7. So in this top lecture, we will talk uh, on quality management in medical lab. Okay, taking words by Philip Crosby, one of the legend in the discipline of quality. Quality is free. Poor quality is expensive. So what does it mean by poor quality is expensive? It is much harder and more expensive to repair uh, a poor product or poor service that already been delivered compared to giving a first class service the first time. And second, do things right the first time. Yes, do things right the first time. And zero defects is the only legitimate goal of a quality program which is very re relevant to our uh, topic here on lab management. Uh, the goal of a medical lab is to provide uh, an optimum, precise and accurate result for patient. First, what are the main quality concerns for medical lab? The negative consequences of lab error uh, first, unnecessary treatment to the patient, yes. Second, failure to provide the proper treatment. Additional and unnecessary, unnecessary diagnostic testing. This is, of course, will burden the patient uh, physically and uh, economically because they need to pay for a, for a lot more tests which might not be useful for their condition and for delay in correct diagnosis of course delay in diagnosis the patient condition might become severe already severe or close uh, uh, to fatal so if, if the treatment is delayed because of the diagnosis will of course affect the patient badly and this the consequences can be very significant which can be fatal to the patient. And second, how to eliminate or we can say minimize the best to minimize lab error. Let's have a look on the key elements of lab quality management. So as a lab manager, what are the key elements or key factors that need to be maintained in order for us to provide quality uh, service? Quality management is a coordinated activities to direct and control an organization with regard to quality. I mean, all the activities that will be listed here consists of planning, organizing, getting the right staff, lead and control the activities. First, the first key element is we need to have a competent and motivated staff. So this can be achieved by having a very good JD job description and well-written policies and SOP. Second, quality result. When talking about quality result, we are looking on the three main components before we can have a quality result for the diagnosis. The pre-analytical, analytical and post-analytical. Pre-analytical mean before we process the sample, which includes uh, patient preparation, uh, how the sample is collected and the transport. And for analytical, um, we're talking about a QC of the machine, a proficiency test, and maintenance. And third, for post-analytical, that means the result is already being produced. Among the activities that can be performed to make sure that or to check whether do we produce a good or quality results is by comparing. We can compare our result, for example, first by performing between two machines that producing the same kind of result. We can uh, 
do full black count in one machine and do the same thing on another full black count analyzer and then compare the result do they produce the same uh, amount of uh, or same type of results second uh, we let two different staff to do the same thing on the same sample and then compare the results this can be uh, uh, performed especially on technical areas for example reading on the peripheral blood film or uh, cyto screening and third we can do delta check delta check mean we compare the result for today from the patient with his or her previous results so we can see the pattern and third we need to have a very good equipment and instrument they need to be functioning properly this can be achieved by first buying or having the right equipment uh, second always do the QC check QC check calibration need to be in uh, proper uh, proper order and also um, yeah the right maintenance for the inform information management also need to be controlled the activities how the result going to be produced how it be written is it uh, has been double checked by the supervisors how precise is, is the results and uh, also looking on the aspect of uh, keeping the confidentiality of the patient information and also by doing a meticulously good record keeping so it will be easy for us to trace the, the result in the future and fifth purchasing and inventory supplies and reagent need to be always available when needed this is very important for a lab to be uh, to operate we cannot uh, have a situation where we have the machine but we don't have the reagent so of course we cannot perform the test this can be done by uh, purchasing the good quality res uh, reagents supplies and also having an appropriate storage system by having all these uh, key element key activities in a proper condition well maintained we can have a quality in our results which uh, result that can be trusted by our customers this uh, can be translated as a result that is precise and accurate okay we will uh, in this topic we uh, look on this uh, try to differentiate between these two words because we going to see them uh, often for this topic quality assurance and also quality control what are the differences between them is are they the same thing first we look on the definition for quality assurance quality assurance is the monitoring of any activity that is associated with the lab result any activity mean from the beginning uh, we talk about pre-analytical, the sample collection, uh, sample transport, uh, uh, patient preparation, until uh, the, resu the result is printed. And the scope for QA, overall activities conducted by the institution. I mean, every activity related to maintaining the quality and 
it is everybody's uh, responsibility need to be uh, perform and uh, participation by all staff including the managers the goal of quality assurance is a value addition and the methodology consists of management strategy they need to have a uh, programs a uh, plans on how to achieve the good quality results by having a well planned quality assurance as for quality control it is an activities directed towards monitoring the individual elements we're talking about elements in the QA so QA we have the, all the elements from re, from the starting of collecting the sample until the production of the results record keeping even the inventory uh, of the reagents as for QC we are looking at the individual one by one activities that is being done and the scope for QC I think 99% of the activities consists on uh, on uh, instrument and the test procedure because we want to uh, control the quality of the results the responsibilities is specific to the person that in charge the area specific activity performed by authorized staff only they mean the QC who's uh, respons responsible for it depends on the person that doing the test or handling the analysis the goal of QC is for error prevention to prevent error from uh, from the beginning from the start we don't want to to uh, to produce uh, a false result and then it is not possible to um, correct uh, if error has been done, patient have received the sample, other uh, results and treatment has been given. So we try to prevent that from happening by preventing error in the whole process of producing the result. As for the method, the activities focus on error detection. So we, we want to detect is there any error on the instrument any error on the procedure all right thank you guys we will continue on the part two